Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three string shovel guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, you better run. This is Motorhead. This is adapted to the shovel here. The original is in D sharp, but we're going to do this song in open G. It's got a very old school blues, bad to the bone ish uh, type of, of rhythm to it. It's very, very Bo Diddley, very old school Muddy Waters, uh, those guys. John Lee Hooker, they all had this riff at one time or another, and it's just a fabulous riff. So what I'm going to do is just play a little bit of this tune, one lyric and a chorus, and then I'll break down exactly what I'm doing here. So uh, here we go. <laughs> There ain't no reason to lie to you What's in the cars is what I do I was born running, laughing out loud My feet on the ground, my head in the clouds you better run You better run Got a blade like lightning Silver bullets in my gun All right, that's the whole tune. You just keep doing it over and over. There is a harmonica part in it. If you want to play it like I do in the companion video for the, the companion video for this is uh, on the shovel. I play a C harmonica. So that's what I do. And uh, so what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. They're electric and they're wound. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. I'm using a little homemade bottle slide so that you can see through it. So you can see where I'm at on the, uh, on the, the uh, fretboard. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a fretboard, but we've got markers here. So uh, I want to show you the key to this song is the rhythm, and it's this. And what I'm doing is, is I'm karate chopping here. I'm coming over and sliding my hand that way, right? So that's called palm muting. I do have a lesson on palm muting. It is on the Cigar Box Guitar Lessons, and it's just a beginner. And that's in my Just a Beginner playlist in Cigar Box Guitar. So if you want to take a look at that, it really will help you out if you have trouble with palm muting. But that's the rhythm you want is that dum 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 and it's just down 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 on that low G string. So practice this if you're watching if you're a Formula One fan and you're watching uh, Hamilton win uh, another championship it looks like. So uh, just sit here and thump 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 you know watch while you watch. Um, if you're into other sports uh, Bundesliga or uh, yeah, Korean baseball or whatever you're into you know just uh, practice that because you want that rhythm. So what we're going to do here is we have G, G sharp at these markers, and they're within a little spot, so it's not exactly perfect on any shovel. Yours may be a little different, but you got to feel them in and hear it. G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. These two are really important, and they're right above those moons. There's a moon there and a moon there. Just want to remember, it's right above the moon. C sharp and D is your other one that you need to know. And D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. You have to feel those in. And, you know, it goes G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. And you have to feel all those in, you know, going from open, going from open to G here, you know, you have to hear it in, feel it, and hear it come in. 
So the key to this is B flat, you can see here, to C, to B flat, and out. So it's like so. Okay, so I like to do it in one hit. I like to do it in one shot. You could you could do it in three there at that. But anytime I hit, I tend to miss a little bit. Right? You're right in that little area. It's always better to be sharp. So sharp would be this way as flat. It's better to be sharp. But I like to come into that note or that chord. That way I can listen to it as it, I approach and then stop. So if I'm too high, too sharp, I know I'm a little sharp. I know I'm a little flat. It's like the three bears. You want to be just right, not too sharp, not too flat. And I can feel it in with my ears here. Okay? And that's how I play this thing. I also give it this palm muting at the end. And stop it. That's how I play this, but you can certainly right, and it's totally cool. See, this is all uh, little techniques, and your style is going to come through. Whatever that style is, you're going to develop it. You're going to figure out what you are as you play and you practice, and you're going to find that you do the same things over. You're going to find that maybe you like to do this. Right? And you know something? That's cool too. It's what you like and what your ear feels good. Sometimes people's ears hear sour and some people hear great. And so it just depends on who you are as a musician and as a learning musician. Because we're all learning. I am too. I learn something new every day about these instruments. Hands down, if I pick up an instrument, I'm learning something new. So it's not just for beginners, intermediates, um, advanced students, masters. 90-year-old musicians are still learning music, and that's what music is all about. It's a learning experience. So remember, when you stop learning, you've stopped growing. So that's just my little uh, two cents at this. The other chords you need to know are C and D, because this is where the chorus is, because you're going to slide up. You better run. You better run. And we're going to go up to D. Blade like lightning. Silver bullets in my gun. That's a C. And that is the entire song. Uh, there are other songs like Bad to the Bone that do this. Um, Manish Boy does a little bit of this. Like I said, there's five John Lee Hooker tunes that do this kind of thing. So, you know, you can fool around with this type of style and you can adapt it to many, many other songs. There's something else I did want to show you, though. You can come up to here, to this 12th. It would be the 12th fret on a normal guitar, but you're coming up to that G. And what I'm doing is, is I'm going to hit that D string and come up to D, and then hit the G. Yeah. 
I, I like doing that. And that's all I'm That's all I'm doing is coming up to the D. And I'm listening that that I'm at the same note, the same octave. So that's something I like to do. I just, it's one of my default uh, settings. Anytime I'm doing a, I just do that. And uh, sometimes to my detriment because it sounds like I'm doing it too much. But it's just one of those little things that's part of my style and I just like doing it. So I just wanted to show you that and that's what I do. You could uh, come up on that G string. Okay, so you can do a lot of things up here, and then of course you can get that G, right? So fool around with coming around and playing around up here, right? It's really fun to start fooling around in here in this... So start fooling around in this upper register area, and the upper register is from 12 and higher. Start fooling around in here on that, that high G string. It's just so fun to just mess around with it. I've got a couple of live videos where I'm just wailing around on this, on this high G string way up here in this area, and it's just too much fun. So this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything. I told you I would show you my settings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Q. Let me grab this thing for a second. Oh, goodness. And uh, these are my settings on my little Roland here. I am on the Brit Combo. My gain is at 12 o'clock. My tone is dimed. Uh, a lot of times with the shovel, I have my tone a little different, but today I don't. I have my tone dimed, and I've got the tiniest bit of reverb. So uh, that gives you an idea of my settings out of the cube. And these cubes are pretty much standard. If you've got the cube street, or if you have the, um, I, all the, 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 the plug-in kind, the ones without the batteries, those are, these are all about the same. So a roll-in product is a roll-in product across platforms. So if you've got these settings, you're just about in the ballpark of exactly what I have going on here. And uh, thank you so much for everything you do for me. And uh, definitely play a bunch of shovel. Um, look at the companion video and uh, have a kick with that. And uh, thank you so much for everything you do for me, really. I have a uh, PayPal link here down below. And it's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. A buck a show is all I ask. And uh, again, thank you so much for everything.